there guys it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling welcome back to my channel very quick flip through today um, and it will be it's just um, of the my October day book the um, dress some of the pages from the day book a couple I think I've videoed or maybe just one process uh, video but just to show what you can do with uh, blank pages just to liven up your journals whether it's a bought journal perhaps or a tied in um, sort, of, sort of random sort of choice of pages like I did with this um, so let's just go let's just go I want to give you an idea what it looks like before I start to write in it so um, this is the feature page and it basically is um, a very heavily layered with um, acrylic paint a little bits and pieces uh, sort of vintage paper this is from a um, junk mail. No, it wasn't really junk mail. I shouldn't say that. Like a voucher sent through from Holland and Barrett. And um, we did, I just saw that. I saw the leaves and I loved it. This is a little cut out, fussy cut from a book on flowerless plants. I think it's the Oxford Book of Flowerless Plants. So it has mosses and mushrooms and all sorts of things in it. I liked that. So I've laid it with lace and um, leaves. This little lovely is from Happy Mail. This is from Happy Mail. Um, vintage fabric, vintage fabric. This is Daphne's Diary, uh, the October page. Uh, Daphne's Diary with the apple pie, uh, which I really liked. And that's what inspired me nicking from last year's day book that I didn't use, this page. Um, this coffee inspired um, little tip in. I tipped it in. I like the idea of coffee and apple pie and last year I did coffee and sort of like um, throws I think it was beautiful lovely made beds with fur throws on it and stuff and I think I featured a couple of these on that with a lace and um, just tipped in with the coffee oh, I love these I need to get these stamps out again printed coffee pot um, well paint chip and just on the back there, this is just um, a scrap of, uh, not graph paper, just squared paper, a bit of washi. This little uh, sticker is from my friend Becky. She had a little haul and she shared that with me. And uh, this was just when I was testing out colours, to be honest, testing out colours for the book. And I just thought I like the way that, I like the feel of it, like the way it looked on there. This here... This bit here is um, from last year's day book, this bit, and I kind of added a few bits to it. I hadn't used it from last autumn, so I took it out, and that's a nice thing about tying your signatures in, is that you can take um, pages out to work on them or put them into other projects if you like. And I just added it onto this page here, a bit of, uh, and I stamped over it. Stamped over it, I think that's all last year's. Just added these Daphne's Diary stamps and uh, stamped on there that's from last year I just love the way it looks I think we did a process video on this I think I um, yes turned on the camera when I was popping this together I think it was this one yeah, I think it was this one and not that one Do you know what? I can't remember whichever one it is I'll pop it down below I'll link it down below um, and it's just layered it's layered with um, the uh, I just love this the mushroom I love the red against that blue page and that was like of a a moonlit walk that was the idea and that's the shape of the moon behind it this lovely um, stamp here is from um, Kerry for, um, it was a uh, from Australia part of her happy mail and it's beautiful is it called the flame tree something but I just love the way the colors looked on there so pop that in Nick that from last year and I also put some in my my writing collage come journal now I nicked a, a page from last year because I hadn't used it and just added a Daphne's diary sticker got my stamps out from last year again this was um, these are beautiful these leaves I just love the way with the little almost dew drops around them how that looks so I've just used these throughout all, um, this month's spread to be honest and a bit of washi. Just realised that my kitchen door's open. You can hear the washing machine. Apologies for that. 
from the burning of the leaves and lovely lovely um, autumn poems that I found in one of uh, a book in one of my it's in my stash and uh, gorgeous gorgeous and I will actually probably use some of the verses to suit some of the days as I go through my book and there you go look at the lovely little mushrooms and fungi just featured there on the Daphne's diary page love this love this it's from the book it's from a local artist I think the October bonfires in the garden bit of stamping bit of washi just a little bit of a of layering with again the leaves the stamping um, just the three elements there really love that how that turned out just added this little, um, this came in this month's ephemera box and I love them, love, 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 little post-it and um, yeah, so I'll pop that in there and I stamped Autumn Joy on it. This is from Daphne's Diary, just here and um, it has the, um, yeah, Daphne's Diary and Daphne's Diary from the sticker book, love the way the colours fit. This is from a, a book about, I think it's a Victorian lady's country diary or something like that. But it's just um, her little floral paintings that are beautiful. And I liked the colours. I thought that looked quite autumnal. So I haven't done anything with that yet. This is from a day book. If you can see how beautiful this is. It's just from a day book. And I just um, took it out, popped it with a bit of washi. I can journal underneath. I might use it somewhere else. I don't know but at the moment I quite like it there with this autumnal or seasonal trees washy there we go. this is from last year's book I, I liked it and I hadn't used it so I took it out so just ignore the numbers the numbers that aren't particularly relevant for uh, the dates for this uh, spread but I just love it so I'll pop that in this is from Australia from Camille's Happy Mail Meant to do something with this, haven't quite yet. Last year's really heavily coffee dyed paper and I took it out. I added this to it, this um, page, because I fancied, I liked the way it looked with this Daphne's dye. I might just straighten that up a little bit. With this Daphne, these colours with the pumpkin pie. I love the, the, the range of colours there. Cinnamon sticks and whatever else. I thought that went really well. And so, and that's the end. That's October. That's October, that's what I've done so far. Um, I may well add a few more bits. Maybe I'll add a few more bits, but that'll be it for now. Okay. So, guys, I um, hope you enjoyed this. Um, we're going on to November, and I think I really fancy for November being like, um, like an autumn fashion theme because I think this beautiful lady on the front um, sets the tone for a sort of autumn stroke winter fashion so look out for that i'm going to start working on that quite soon okay take care and thank you for joining me thank you for joining me guys um i hope you find it useful where you can actually just dress any journal really you can um, add bits and pieces to uh, a bought journal or something that you, you've put together um if you'd like to do that that's it take care bye bye bye